Hey everybody, welcome back to Applied Energistics 2 1.19 update. Today, we're going to be getting some of these guys set up. These little automatic Certus Quartz producers. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and get started over here on the other side of the lab. So here are the required materials. You're going to need a couple of annihilation planes. Let's take a look at the recipe for that real quick. So it's going to use these annihilation cores that we learned how to make in the first video and some flux crystals. You'll need a formation plane, which is similar, but now you're using the formation core. You're going to need a couple of enchanted books. You need a fortune three and a silk touch. So the silk touch is absolutely required. The fortune three you don't need, but you will get a lot more quartz if you do use it. You're going to need an ME interface. So that just requires both a formation core and an annihilation core with some glass and some iron. You're going to need your crystal growth accelerators. You're going to need two ME storage buses, which require a piston, an ME interface, and a, I guess that's a sticky piston, an ME interface and a piston. You're going to need an ME import bus, which is a sticky piston with the annihilation core. You're going to need the ME export bus, which is a piston with the formation core. You'll need a barrel. You'll need some assorted cables. They don't have to be the standard glass cables. You can actually use the smart cables, the dense cables, whatever you want. But these are the basics you need and you're going to be creating your own miniature network basically. So I'd recommend just keeping it cheap with the glass cables. And you'll need some quartz fiber. You're also going to need these flawed budding certus quartz. These are kind of the key ingredient for growing your certus. So here's the system. You can see all of the other things that you couldn't see before. So you can see we've got that ME interface hidden down under here. And you can see that we have all these different cables. So we have these green cables, which is one network. We have these red cables, which is a second network. The blue cables are third network. And then these cyan cables are your main network, attaching back to whatever you have for your main ME network. All right, once you've grabbed all your materials, you're going to start with some sort of existing ME network. Here, this is just super simple. It's got an ME drive, an ME terminal, and a power source. So we're going to start by putting down the ME interface and our barrel. We're going to take our two ME storage buses, and they're going to go on this front face of the barrel and the top of the barrel. Our import bus is going to go on the side, and our export bus is going to go on the side of the ME interface. Next, we want to make our first network. So this is going to be the green network, and it's going to be powering our crystal growth accelerators and it's gonna have our ME formation plane on it. This formation plane then needs to be set up to place these flawed budding certus quartz. So go ahead and put that into the interface and now it will only place flawed budding certus quartz. Next, we wanna set up our other two networks here. So it's very important that these networks don't mix. So these quartz fibers are gonna become super handy. They're gonna place one quartz fiber here we're going to create the red network connecting to this ME storage bus. We're going to place down a second quartz fiber. So we're getting power from this ME interface through all of our networks. And we're going to place our blue network cables here. And these will go to these two storage buses. Next, we need to place down our ME annihilation planes. And it's super important that we don't mix these up. So the bottom is going to need the silk touch and the top is going to need the fortune three. So we'll place on the silk touch first onto the red network and the fortune onto the blue network. And now we're just about done here. The last thing we need to do is give power to this ME interface. Because if we connect this over here, this will not actually get power. This will stay offline and all of these other three networks will also stay offline. So we need to make sure that we're getting power in but not actually connecting it to the main network. That's not where that goes. So this needs to go directly to the ME interface. And now we can connect up to the main network. So we'll just use the cyan cables here. And we can see that this device is now online. Our crystal growth accelerators are online. And our annihilation plane, they're all online. So let's go ahead and set up these storage buses now. So this one connects to that top Fortune 3 annihilation plane. And we want to make sure that we're getting Certus Quartz crystals from it. So place one of those in there, and this will now only break blocks that can produce Certus Quartz crystals. And we need to do the same thing down here. Since we don't want to break our flawed budding Certus Quartz right away, we want to make sure it goes through all of its degradation stages first. 
So the last degradation stage is the Certus Quartz block. So that's what we want to break before the formation plane replaces it with a flawed budding Certus Quartz. So now that is all set up and the last thing to do is to import the flawed budding Certus Quartz from the system. So now if you already have flawed budding Certus Quartz in your ME network, like this, it will pull it directly into this ME interface and as soon as it's in there, the formation plane will place it down. And in just a second, we should see this grow up and we will have our first Certus Quartz going into our network through our import bus. There it is. The first one should be in the barrel and this will go through our import bus and we'll see it in our ME network now. Perfect. And now what happens if we want to get Certus Quartz dust? That is super simple. All we have to do is change this setting. So if we remove this, this annihilation plane will now break whatever is in front of it. In this case, it'll always be the first stage of the crystal and those always will give the Certus Quartz dust. All right, and there you have it. Some automated Certus Quartz production in AE2 1.19. If this video helped you out, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. See you guys in the next one.